Hello. Welcome to PCCL, it's okay? We will study here the evolution of the water temperature during its fusion. It is a question of having ice at the start and liquid water at the finish. It's fusion. Also called melting. We will therefore place the crushed ice in lukewarm water to speed up the process. Measure the temperatures with a thermometer, and a stopwatch for the times, to take this temperature every minute. We see at the start that the crushed ice is at a temperature of minus 10 degrees Celsius. The thermometer tells us that the temperature naturally increases. I resume recording when the liquid water appears at the bottom of the test tube. Here we see that there is liquid water that has appeared, and in the table we find that this occurs at the temperature of 0 degrees Celsius. Temperature which appears to remain stable. There are a few ice cubes left in the 11th minute, at the top, a few small pieces of ice that disappear. I take this opportunity to remind you that the stopwatch is going a little fast, these are artificial seconds. We can see that the temperature is changing. It had remained at 0 degrees Celsius for a long time. And by the 13th minute it is 0 0.5 degrees Celsius. The experience ends. Now we will get to the 15th minute. I can plot data points on a graph. So the ice was at minus 10 when we started the stopwatch. Do we have a horizontal line, a plateaus? This is the question asked here, on the left, in the instructions. Well yes. We have a temperature plateaus of 0 degrees Celsius. As a reminder, this is the same value as the one we had for the solidification phase transition. That is, if water becomes solid at 0 degrees Celsius, it also melts at 0 degrees Celsius. As long as everything has not melted, as long as the two states coexist, water and ice, the temperature is at 0 degrees Celsius. It does not evolve. It is a pure substance. Not a mixture. That's it for this video. Thank you.